kind of rap beat to it. It also goes um, at one point into inappropriate language. <laughs> it uh, quotes Baudelaire. And so it's quirky in all the kinds of ways which you might sort of <laughs> uh, uh, think that, you know, you're really going to have to have the right judge to work. I'd probably have tried it if I'd known the judge was anyway, um, in this case. But here it goes. It's called Mouth Music. And it's about um, a group of my friends when I was a teenager, not just one friend. My friend Paul already had that sneer of his, preemptive and false knowing when we were 10, two schoolboys in East London. He was gangly and gawky, a foot too tall, with a hunch like a bobble, do bobble doll's, a hurt streak turning mean, and a voice hard as a fist. But we were friends, at needing, without knowing how or what or where to ask. One day when I make mouth music, Paul could smash the drum, smash the drum. My friend Timmy was a timid little thing, round-rimmed spectacles and hair cut by his mother, when we were 12-year-olds at play in London. The last of us in short pants, the easiest to tease, we could practice how for hours, and he'd stand, and he would take it, so we did. One day when I make mouth music, I'll give Tim the guitar. He'll make it squeal. At 14, Gil, at 20, John, at 18, my friend Lucy, those nights we slit a flap of skin to eat its nest of stars <coughs> that summer by the cave light of the woods. Before hip hop, before grunge, punk, ska, scat, screech, and all merchandisable fidget, there was this. This best friend's blare and shuffle, three-legged and bandaged at the hip, lunging and balking at the soft edge of the discovered world, singing one day when we make mouth music, we'll know more than this. We'll do better than this. But you, 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 you're mon frère. You're mon fucked up semblable. You're the best. Mm -hmm.